those videos last session thin roasting thick roasting fiber channel storage as you can see our networking not working topics channel ports port groups channel distributed switch live migration remember i forgot everything I remember so just give me a few minutes i uh, just powder on the lab so we'll test nfs data stores and we'll not use it in a regular day to day basis only nfs data stores will be used to dump the uh, iso files and stuff this is what i can say because you you recollect the basics what we discussed or recollect the few things what we discussed in earlier sessions which one is faster san or nas Which one is faster? SAN. Okay. So when I said network storage, when I said network storage, there are two things, right? One is the SAN. I'm just reiterating before the system power off. NAS. Okay. In SAN, we have two things. One is iSCSI. Performed few lab sessions, and another one is fiber channel, which I have explained you yesterday theoretically, and another one is CFS, which will be used for Windows. Okay, most of the most of the areas you'll see in Windows right, of the file shares. Another one is NFS, which we will use Linux to Linux data transfer. Okay, then. NFS can be used in ESXA. How come NFS will be used? Any idea? ESXI base operating system itself customized Linux. Correct. I've already shown you how to log in. In earlier classes, 192, 168, 101, 151 is my base ESXi root and the password. You can see you can log in using SSH, right? And you see a lot of processors that are running on the machine, right? So it is possible to assign NFS data stores to ESXi server. Agree on this point? I said CFS is for Windows, so skip yeah. it. So we'll skip this part. But I said NFS is possible because ESX itself is a Linux. But which one is faster? This one is faster and this is really slow. So we don't use this in production, but somehow in some of the custom environments, I've seen people using NFS data stores for dumping the ISO files templates or using as a content library for their internal operations means I want to deploy 10 machines okay. I have those ISO files in uh, SATA right if I don't have a SATA drive what I will do I'll simply mount one NFS mount NFS share and I'll mount the ISO files over there I'll, I'll paste the ISO files over there so that it is easy for me to deploy the machines from the data store if I'm trying to deploy something in real time. That is only the place where I will use. Rest of the areas you will see iSCSI or Fiber Channel will be used on the front end production. Clear? So, how to configure this and how to use this? I'll show you. Let's log in. So, ID machine. Okay. Recenter 
will take some time let's see quickly up okay so let's log in into blender So my lab is up and running. Let me go to first host data stores, one local, three SAN. So I want to mount one more NFS data store. Okay, let's see how it works. So minimize this. From where I'll get the NFS, from where I'll get the NFS again, same network storage box, which is your SAN box. That SAN box can support all the two protocols that I have explained multiple times, right? So within the SAN, okay, I said you have a controller one, controller two, all those things, and you have one dish shelf or multiple dish shelves. I don't know why. how to fix this. Let's see, multiple dish shelves are there. Okay, from here, I created one share and I presented, let's say, this is controller one and controller two. Presented the share via NFS like this. Same thing we tested for iSCSI. Now we do it for NFS. So I don't have the sandbox or a NAS box. Right, what I'll do, I'll use my Active Directory server as a storage provider, just like what we did for iSCSI. I'll go to base, the server, and go to local manager. There is some service which I need to enable. Okay, some role or service I need to enable. Let's see. Even I don't remember exactly. Let's see. Add roles and features. In manage, add roles and features. Next. On the server. Okay. So expand. Siren storage services. Server for NFS, I believe. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but let's try with the server for NFS. Okay, iSCSI target server, we have already installed it. Now, I'm also enabling server for NFS. Install. This will give, this will give you NFS file shares. Installation is not, I'm not I'm not getting a screen only uh, audio I listen no, it is the screen is shared yes uh, but uh, some uh, network issue that was is it I think um, yes still I'm not getting a screen only audio I'm okay we wait for you I, I can see the screen also. Yeah, yeah, you have some network issue, man. Okay, let's do one thing. We'll we'll finish this net NFS part. I thought of con just give me a moment. Just give me a moment, moment, one moment. I thought of finishing my side. I think my side network issue. Yeah, yeah, understood. What we will do is we'll just finish this NFS and we will not continue with the data stores and. Uh, Sorry, uh, data store clusters and other topics that we will do it tomorrow. The NFS is a very small one. Okay, we'll continue with this okay, okay. and I'll upload the video. Just watch it and uh, other topics. I'll, I'll pause it for today. Tomorrow we can discuss. Yes, yes.
okay so what i will do i'll go to nfs okay sorry i'll go to active directory server how to enable let's quickly show you go to add roles and features next and in roles expand the fire and storage services expand the fire and ice cream services and you have to enable server for Once that is enabled, you go to, go to any volume. Go to any volume. I'll go to Z and I'll create one folder. Okay. VMware VS Data Store okay. or VMDS NFS. Understood? VMware data store which is NFS. I'll go to properties <coughs> NFS sharing is the once you enable it in the properties you will get NFS sharing manage NFS sharing share this folder okay, over the network and anonymous access let's try read write access Apply. Okay. This is the share name. Network path is this. Okay. So how to access this? Let's see. Go to vCenter. Go to vCenter. Select any host. Right click. Storage. Add a data store. This time you have to select NFS. You have to select the NFS. Click next. Read NFS protocol. Okay, so select NFS three and NFS four. NFS three and NFS four point one. There are two versions that are in the market. So I'll select the latest one and see if it works. Otherwise, we'll go back to three and we'll test it. <coughs> Data store name is uh, the file share name is this the folder which we have created and I'll say NFS data store one NFS data store one what is the target server 192 168 what is this 30.55 is the target add use authentication because I gave the root permissions over there let's try it not working okay let me try one more <coughs> because as I said I never used it in production and in 6.7 this is the first time I'm trying to access something NFS data store this is the fan is a share 192 168 40 dot sorry 30.55 right this is the target server finish let's see the server okay some error okay see I don't know exactly what kind of permissions because this is not even real time okay so, <coughs> NFS first yes So some permission issue see it is working here with type nfs3 20 gp the whole 
and I wait took. Understood? And the same thing, same thing if you go to this data store, go to the data store and configure and right click, right click, mount data store to additional host. Other two hosts are there, just mount the same data store into other two. And you see it is mounted in all the three shared data store but via NFS so via iSCSI you will get 1 GB and 10 GB speed and via fiber channel you will get 2 4 sorry 4 8 16 32 whatever the speed that you opted for in NFS it is normal 1 GB Ethernet and the, the behavior of the protocol is little slow when compared with the SAN protocols. I, and you guys explain me what is file storage and what is block storage. Okay, so SAN is more of blocks and NAS is more of files. So this can be used to mount the or save the ISO files which I have. Okay, and 10. 20, 30, these can be used for protection. And local 3, local 2, local 1 can be ignored or you can remove it. Okay, We will not use any local storage in real time. Okay, Most of the times you will see the customers are using SAN storage only. Otherwise, vSAN. That we will do it in next coming classes. Okay, Tomorrow we will see uh, something about data store cluster just like your host cluster you have your data store cluster as well how to create it and how to manage it that I will show you tomorrow also we'll see how you can migrate the VM from one one data store to another data store without any without any uh, downtime that also we'll see tomorrow and then on Saturday will see vSAN configuration with that I'll, I'll stop the storage part and you guys can practice it for some time on Saturday Sunday and from Monday onwards we will you we will try to start the HADRS and FT testing Fair enough. any questions up to this no, no. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll unmount this data store. I'll not keep it unnecessary overload on the system. Okay. So I've unmounted the NFS data store because I don't require it for a day to day operations. Just I want to show you how it works. And also stop sharing this folder. And go inside there is nothing. If I put some VM then definitely the VM will be inside that folder. Okay, I delete it. <coughs> if I want, I can remove the service as well. Uninstall the service. Very quick. Let's get the server for NFS. Remove it. Okay, on the VM side, this is how it works. But <coughs> 4.1 4.1 NFS 4.1 also will work okay if you can assign the storage properly from uh, NetApp or any other uh, storage system you will also use the same thing okay so it's done let me shut down the host Get the shutdown from here. I'll stop recording here.